بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا ونبينا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وآله الطيبين الطاهرين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين أجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف اللهم أخرجني من ظلمات الفهم وأكرمني بنور الفهم اللهم افتح علينا أبواب رحمتك وانشر علينا خزائن علومك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين الحمد لله بها التوفيق to continue our study of الفقه الاستدلالي the section on fasting the issue that we started last week is about whether uh, akl and shurb, eating and drinking, are to be by something that, uh, with something that are used to be eaten or used as drink, mu'tad, or anything, even for example, if someone uh, eats, you know, some uh, soil, for example, or some liquid, drink some liquid which is not ordinarily used as, you know, drink. So I just mentioned the beginning of this discussion, and then we said we will continue next week. Page 327, I start again from beginning, and inshallah we will see there is a uh, um, very rich discussion here, and please, you know, pay attention. The, the issue as such may not be, you know, very complicated, but this is a practice. It's a practice for fiqhi, you know, reasoning, how to deal with, you know, mafhum, mantuq, muqtazi, mani, hadith, ayah, all these things. So, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, muftariyatu ghayr al-mu'tad. I shared with you the screen. As we said, al-mashuhur, so the famous, well-known opinion among our scholars is تعميم المفترية لتناول غير المعتاد They include those things which are not normally eaten or used as drink in being considered as muftir. Because we were talking about muftarat, the first and second was al-aklu wa shurb those things that break fasting. This is so much popular among our scholars, among our fuqaha, that lam yunsab al-khilaf illa ila al-iskafi wa sayyid al-murtada. The opposite view is not attributed except to two people. Eskafi and Sayyid Murtaba. Rahmatullah alayhim. What is the reason for Mashhur? Wa mustanadu hum. Hum meaning Mashhur. Itlaqun nahya anil akl wa shurb. When it is said, don't eat from Fajr ila layl don't drink from Fajr ila layl these in their generality in their etlaq include things which are mu'tad and things which are not mu'tad kama huwa wadh but now he wants to go into a kind of critic. He says, Al Kalam Taratan Yaka Yaka Utaratan fi Tamamiyate Mukta 
ta'amim wa ukhra fil mani. You remember in previous books and also uh, in usul al fiqh we said you know we need muqtazi to be there and mani not to be there. Yeah, muqtazi mawjood, mani mafqood. Maybe some of you remember once, uh, perhaps at least once I have mentioned this in the Hose, that uh, uh, one of my uh, uh, teachers, I think was my very first teacher in Tehran, he sent uh, with one of ulama who was teaching for many years in Qom uh, books of Sotuh, Although he was very advanced, but he decided to teach uh, Lum'e and then Makase for many years. So he said, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, he, he, so two uh, stories. My teacher said this, that with this I alim, which was Ayatollah Sutudeh, Rahmatullah Alai, he said, I walked till we reached his home and then he didn't do taruf you know taruf means to invite and say no please come in he didn't do taruf and he said then he apologized and he said you know i was not ready at that time you know to invite you in and i didn't want to uh, do something which is not honest. He was considering this taruf when it's not honest as immoral. So this is one story. The other story was what another teacher of mine was saying, but maybe it was a joke, I don't know. Uh, that one person went to an alim's, uh, close to an alim's house, next to his house, and said, if there is no mani, I want to come in. If there is no mani, if there is no obstacle. And he said, there is no mani, but there is also no muqtazi. <laughs> First, there must be a muqtazi. Uh, just not to have mani is not enough. Is not you know, adequate reason to come in. That was uh, another story first uh, in my mind, they were mixed, but there are two uh, stories. So, if you want to go to someone's house, first there must be a reason. Second, that person should be available, should not have problem at home, maybe family are not ready, maybe they don't have a space, etc. Mane should be mafkhoud. Okay, of course, we believe that with believers, Muqtazi is always there to meet each other if they are friends, if they are brothers and sisters in faith. So, two things we need. Muqtazi must be there. Mani must not be there. Now, let us see. Do we have Muqtazi here to include غير المعتاد in being Muftar? Or whether mani is mafqood. We will see. Problem is in what? Amma tamamiyatul muqtazi. Some people say muqtazi is there. If you can show there is mani, okay. But otherwise muqtazi is there. How they argue for having muqtazi? أما تمامية المقتضي فقد يستدل لها بأحد وجوه. In order to say that we have complete مقتضي, they have argued in different ways. مقتضي is what is the main cause. For example, when there is fire, fire is the cause for burning. If there is wood, fire has iqtida to burn. But if 
wood is wet then the wetness is mana is obstacle okay so you know muqtazi and mana the first way they argued that we have muqtazi here is this qawluhu ta'ala wa kulu washrabu til yatabayyana lakum al khayt al abyaz min al khayt al aswad bid'a how they argued from this ayah by with claiming that akl and shurb are mutlaq wa adam taqyidhuma bil mu'tad allah didn't say kulu washrabu ma huwa al mu'tad lil akl wa al shurb is general it's not umum it's mutlaq umum is when you have something in the text which indicates generality like kul jami etc itlaq is understood from muqaddamatul hikma you remember from usul so kulu washrabu in this ayah are mutlaq wa fihi but there is a problem in this istidlal this itlaq that you refer to is it itlaq in mantuq or mafhum you remember in usul al fiqh we had discussion about mafhum and mantuq mantuq is what is spoken what is said mafhum is what is understood by implication yeah mafhum then we have mafhum al muwafaqa mafhum al mukhalafa remember mafhum al muwafaqa is understood bil awlawiyah for example if we say la taqul lahuma uffan bil awlawiyah we understand that we cannot do something which is worse than saying off like na'udhu billah beating them this is mafhum al muwafaq mafhum al mukhalafa means it is opposite for example if it is said do this we realize that the opposite to this is uh, not necessary for example if it is said akram al ulama respect all scholars mantuq is necessity of respecting all scholars mafhum is that if they are not scholars it's not necessary it's not that it is haram it's not necessary yeah uh, okay so many things like this you know we discussed we have mafhum al adad mafhum al laqab mafhum al istithna mafhum al shart a very famous example is in ja'akum fasiqun bin naba'in fatabayyanu if a fasiq brings you a news a piece of news you must investigate so then if someone who is not fasiq brings you news if no one brings news it's salib uh, and tafai mawzu but if a mu'min and adil brings you news tabayyanu is turned into la yajibu alaykum tabayyun yeah this is mafhum al shart okay question is this this itlaq are in the ayah kulu washrabu do you mean itlaq in mantuq or mafhum shaykh irwani says we have problem with both but let us first clarify which one if it is with mantuq there is problem if there is mafhum there is another problem 
ان الاطلاق اما في المنطوق او المفهوم وكلاهما ليس بتام both are not in, uh, you know are not adequate are not complete اما منطوقا what is منطوق of ayah kullu washrabu means in the night حتى يتبين لكم الخيط الأبيض من الخيط الأسود من الفجر means eat and drink from مغرب till فجر so means قبل الفجر it's okay of course it's not that it's واجب to eat and drink although it is أمر بالأكل والشور but this is Meaning that there is no problem. Amr after nahi or even when there is possibility of nahi means jawaz. Like when doctor says don't eat something then after someone sometime when you are okay you have been uh, healed it says eat. Doesn't mean that you must eat. It mean, means that nahi is over. Anyway. اما منطوقا فلان الامر بالاكل والشرب قبل الفجر that command for eating and drinking before fajr الوارد للترخيص this amr has come for ترخيص for permission not that it's really واجب is is no problem يختص بالمعتاد جزما means certainly this command which shows tarkhis is restricted to mu'tad to what is customary to be eaten or to be used as sharab as drink wa illa fa hal yuhtamal kawn al maqsud at tarkhis fi tanawul ghayr al mu'tad Otherwise, is it possible, is it likely to say that what is meant in this ayah is that you can eat in the night till Fajr, up to Fajr, even things which are not mortal, like stones, sands, soil, etc. Is this the ayah uh, trying to say? هل يحتمل كون المقصود الترخيص في تناول غير المعتاد كالحصى حصى means small sands like stones sangreza we say in Farsi والتراب soil ونحوهما no certainly when ayah says كلو واشربو means what you normally eat and drink you can Eat and eat. So ayah is not besada de bayan what should be eaten or not drunk. This is not what ayah wants to say. Ayah wants us to eating and drinking. Whatever you eat and drink normally, you can keep eating and drinking till fajr. So if this is about mantuk, but. Our issue is that this should not be about mantu, it should be about mafum. Because the ayah actually is not talking about muftariyatul akil wa shurb directly. Ayah is talking about possibility of eating and drinking qabl al fajr. Mantu is about eating and drinking qabl al fajr. What helps us to understand is mafhum of ayah that we should not eat and drink after fajr ala anna al muftariyata tartabitu bil mafhum dun al mantuq yeah muft so the dalil that you want to bring cannot be mantuq let us go to mafhum okay we said 
ان الاطلاق اما في المنطوق او المفهوم كلاهما ليس بتام about mantuq we talked but we said it's not possible to say it was mantuq but anyway we talked about mantuq we said mantuq would not say anything about what is not mu'tad let us go to mafhum mafhum in its sa'a and dhiq in its extension whether it is general or restricted is subordinate to what to mantuq mafhum in sa'a wa dhiq tabi'un lil mantuq is subordinate to what is spoken amma mafhuman fa la annahu yani la anna al mafhum mutafarr'un 'ala al mantuq sa'atan wa dhiqan if mafhum was independent we should have discussed it but we know that mafhum is subordinate to mantuq was mantuq general or not if mantuq was not general was not am or mutlaq it was not including ghayr al mu'tad mafhum is also the same pas لأنه متفرع على المنطوق ساعة وضيقا والمنطوق لا يعم غير المعتاد فالمفهوم كذلك We said منطوق doesn't include غير المعتاد When Allah says كلوا واشربوا doesn't mean حصاء you know تراب etc So منطوق is the same So this issue of Itlaq is not complete. Whether you want to use itlaq of mafhum or mantuq, it's not complete. But we said they argue be vujuhen, yeah? This was one way. Asani, the second way for arguing is this. To argue what? To argue that even غير المعتاد is مفطر yeah, this is the point yeah, we are mentioning different reasons for مشهور why we should avoid eating something which is not معتاد or drinking what is not معتاد yeah? so the second point there is a صحيحة please remember this صحيحة because we will refer to this later as you know several times صحيحة محمد بن مسلم so there is no problem in سند just you have to see دلالة in every hadith we need to make sure that سند is correct and دلالة is complete is tam صحيحة محمد بن مسلم عن أبي عبد الله عليه السلام لا يضر الصاعمة ما صنع إذا اجتنب ثلاثة خصال What the one who fasts does would not harm him if he avoids three things Of course you know that in hadith like ordinary speech of people you know, it's common among people that sometimes they are not interested in mentioning all the details so it's not that muftarat are only three or if you consider ta'am and sharab as two or only four but these are the things that are main ones and in that context that imam was talking these were the main things so Sometimes the speaker maybe is trying to be exhausting all the details, sometimes maybe not. And this is why we put all the hadiths together. <laughs> if the one who fasts avoid three things, then nothing can harm him. Means his fasting is okay. 
At-ta'amu wa sharab These are considered together here Although there are two but means The same Same category One nisa means marital relation When they are fa- you know, the, During the day when fasting Wal irtimas fil ma To immerse in water To the extent that water covers the body Completely Khob How they argue from this hadith? They say this ta'am wa sharab are mutlaq. It doesn't say at ta'am al mu'tad or al sharab al mu'tad. It's general, it's mutlaq. Bidawa it laq it ta'am. والشراب with this claim that ta'am and sharab are mutlaq <laughs> Sheikh Irwani says there is a problem in this argument it's not complete why? أن الطعام والشراب لا يصدقان عرفا إلا على تناول المعتاد You know, إطلاق means that first it should be included and then we say because there is no qaid mentioned so this inclusion was meant but he says who said that ta'am and sharab include ghayr al-mu'tad anna ta'am wa sharab la yastuqan urfan illa ala tanawul al-mu'tad when we say to people eating and drinking what they understand they understand what is considered as food what is considered as drink and even if you are in doubt a doubt is enough even if you don't know something is included then you cannot argue so hadith sanad wise is great but Dalala is not in your favor. At least we are in doubt. The third way to argue. Ma dalla. As-salith. Ma dalla. Ada. Javaz. Vaz'il. Kohl. Fil ayn. Waddohn. Fil udun. بشرط أن لا يدخل الحلق ولا يظهر لهما طعم في. We have hadith which indicate when someone is fasting can use kohl. Kohl in Farsi we say surme. Kohl is something that uh, use. Even men may use, but normally women may use uh, for beautification and also it's for health. Good, you know, they say it's good for health, for eyes. So if someone puts this inside the eye or about oil, putting oil in ear, is it a problem when you are fasting to put kohl in your eye or oil in your ear hadith says it's permissible بشرط Allah يدخل الحلق ولا يظهر له ما طعم فيه if they don't enter throat because from eyes there is connection if ear is healthy, there is no connection, but if uh, there is a hole, then it may go inside. Normally it shouldn't go inside. So if it doesn't go inside, 
there is no problem and uh, you don't s you know sense the taste of coal or oil if you sense the taste means it has gone inside even very little one example is this hadith Kasahihat Muhammad ibn Muslim and Ahadihim either from Imam Baghir or Imam Sadiq because he was companion of both Imams. Su'ila anil mar'at taktahilu wa hiya sa'imah Imam alayhi salam was asked about a woman who uses surma or kohl while she is fasting. Imam alayhi salam according to this hadith said إِذَا لَمْ يَكُنْ كُحْلًا تَجِدُ لَهُ تَعْمًا فِي حَلْقِهَا فَلَا بَحْسَ If this is not a coal that she finds the taste of it in her throat, no problem, there is no problem. But if it is that much that she can sense the taste, then it's a problem. Another example is Sahihatu Ali ibn Ja'far fi kitabi. Ali ibn Ja'far who is buried in Qum. Yeah, in Gulzar al-Shuhada, Ali ibn Ja'far is buried there. He is son of Imam Sadiq salam and brother of Imam Qasim salam. Very respected person. He, in his book, in his collections of hadith, narrates from his brother Musa ibn Ja'far alayhi salam, Sa'altuhu an sa'im, hal yaslahu lahu an yasubba fi udhunuhi dhuhn? I asked about someone who is fasting, is it? permissible is it okay if he puts or pours some drops of oil in his ear qala musa ibn ja'far alayhi replied idha lam yadkhul halqahu fala bas if this oil doesn't enter his throat is fine bi taqrib Okay, how they use this hadith, the way to articulate and form their reasoning is this. This is the way taqrib means to articulate this and you know bring it to closer to the mind. Taqrir and taqrib. Taqrir is mostly just articulating, but taqrib means to bring it closer. أنه لا وجه لاشتراط عدم الوصول إلى الحلق إلا محذور الأكل. Why Imam Ali Salam says it should not reach the throat, or in the previous hadith similar, taste should not be there; it should not reach throat. Isn't it because then it would be a kind of akl? Or if it is oil, would be a kind of like drink, or at least akl, because sometimes you uh, drink oil, <laughs> sometimes you eat oil. For example, if it's a little, you know, maybe we don't say it's you know drinking, like you know olive oil, for example. Maybe we don't use drinking. We say you know, it's e like eating with food, etc. So. La wajha, there is no point, there is no way, no reason for making this a condition that it must not reach halq, throat, except that Imam wanted to avoid akl. What does it mean? Then it means that this is considered as akl. Wala dhamuzalik at ta'amimu lghayr al mu'tal. So what this implies is that. Uh, what is not mu'tad for akl and shob is included. This is ta'mim. It's including what is not mu'tad in drinking and eating. 
بعد وضوح عدم اعتياد اكل الكهل والدو after it is clear that kohl is not mu'tad you know, no one should say you know kohl is mu'tad something that people normally eat or drink or you know dohn some of these uh, oils are not e things that we use for uh, you know eating or drinking yes if it is uh, olive oil maybe yes but not every oil that they use is like this Kho this is the argument. The third argument based on some hadith which say that for uh, kohl and oil in eye or ear there is no problem as long as they don't reach the throat or the taste is not felt. Sheikh Irwani says wafih there's a problem here. If I want to make it clearer, Sheikh Irwan wants to say that yes, using kohl or putting oil in eye or ear is a problem it's prohibited okay no problem it's clear we can understand this but maybe they are not prohibited because they fall under prohibited act and prohibited shorb maybe they are prohibited by themselves so maybe we should add to muftarat al-akl wa shorb and also putting coal in your eye if it reaches the throat and putting oil in your ear if it reaches the throat and now you have to mal konul ishtarat al mazkur ishtarat al mazkur means not reaching the throat and not having the taste lal sadq al akl this condition is not because if it reaches the throat it is possible to say akl has happened Akl is yastuq. Yeah, it can be said that it is akl. Bal al man'a min dhalika fi nafs. You may say this is by itself is a problem. It's a mufter. So this is the way he deals with this. Ar rabi'ah. Another way that they argue for saying that Muftariyat al-akl wa shurb includes ghayr al-mu'tad is this way anna al-murtakaz mutasharriyan means what is deep inside mind of mutasharra religious people if you ask religious people now 20 years ago 30 years ago 40 years ago 50 years ago whether eating and drinking غير المعتاد makes fasting void they say yes this is deeply built deeply you know settled in their mind is ertekaz ertekaz means something which is deeply built أن المرتكز متشرعيان عموم الحكم لغير المعتاد ولذا يبعد الحكم بعدم المفترية بأكل نصف كيلو من الذباب مثلا therefore it's very unlikely to say that if someone eats considerable size of for example mosquito or fly is not a problem it's not a mufter why because no one eats mosquito or fly so if someone says you know i want to eat then it would not be problem for fasting can someone says this no mutashara i know that this is a problem 
Sheikh Irwani said, yes, I accept that there is such a thing in the mind of people who are mutashar. But what we need, please listen very carefully, these are very important points. What we need is ertekaz ladal mutashara fi zaman al ma'sumin alayhim salam because today there is such ertekaz but maybe this ertekaz is because over centuries fatwas of fuqaha have been like this so the ertekaz is there what the reason for ertekaz could be their awareness their information knowledge about fatwas and fatwa mashhur has been always that ghayrul mu'tad is also to include it wa fi annahu yuhtamal kawnul irtikaz hasila so he doesn't question irtikaz but says maybe this irtikaz has happened bi sabab ta'mim fatawa al fuqaha because mashhur al fuqaha apart from iskafi and sayyid murtada they said mu'tad and غير المعتاد both to be avoided. المعتبر هو الارتكاز بين أصحاب الأئمة عليهم السلام لأنه هو الكاشف عن رعيه. We find a kind of ارتكاز. If people in the time of معصومين thought in this way, then معصوم must be either the reason for them thinking like this, or at least معصوم didn't stop them. But here, are we sure? that ertikaz was available among companions of imams he says la jazma bi thubutihi there is no certainty that this ertikaz existed at that time then if you say so do you think it's possible to eat you know insects when you are fasting amal hukm bil muftariya bi tanawul al hasharat fa awwal al kalam he says who said that if someone eats an insect or for example an insect goes to his mouth and he swallows we are not saying whether it is halal or good or not. We are saying does make fasting void or not. Because there is another discussion about hormato akl al hasharat. Yeah, we have to discuss it in another place. Question is not that side. The question is is this making fasting void or not? He said this is the beginning of discussion. We shouldn't beg the issue. If you say it's very unlikely to say that it wouldn't break fasting, you say this is a step out. You are just considering it's unlikely. There's no proof. Well, istibad bi mujarradihi means mujarradul istibad la yakfi. So it's unlikely, but this is not a proof. You say, I don't feel this is the case. It's not enough. Al khamis. This is the last point, the last, uh, I mean, last way of arguing for inclusion. Munasabatul hukm wal mawzu. This is something that uh, is very helpful, this method of considering tanasub and munasabat bain al hukm wal mawzu. Many times in fiqh and outside fiqh we can understand things based on this. What is mawdu? What is huk? Yeah, mawdu is the subject. Huk is the ruling. Sometimes we can consider the relations between these two and understand things. For example, لو قال الطبيب لمن أجرى جراحة يعني عملية جراحية لمعدته. If someone had operation surgery in his stomach or her stomach okay doctor says la ta'kul ta'am don't eat food do you agree that this person should not eat 
what is mu'tad and also should not eat what is not mu'tad. Do you agree or not? Had surgery in a stomach and doctor says don't eat. So you cannot eat rice and bread and you know uh, b um, fruits. Cannot also eat for example sands and soil etc. فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُفْحَمْ إِخْتِصَاسُهُ بِالْمُعْتَادِ Here, we would not understand, no one understands that this is restricted to Mu'tad. No, actually opposite. تَنَاسُبُ الْحُكْمِ وَالْمُوزُو Someone has had operation and doctor says, you know, don't eat. It includes everything. وَكَذَا الْحَالِ فِي الْمَقَامِ So the fifth argument say, we are the same when we are fasting. We are the same. We are told not to eat. Like this person who had surgery and is told not to eat. Sheikh Irwani says in that example about patient and surgery, yes, we accept. But that example has khususiya, has some kind of particularity. Why? Because it's stomach, it's surgery of a stomach, and for a stomach doesn't make difference whether what is put inside is mu'tad or ghayr mu'tad. Yeah, we understand, we are sure that this doesn't make difference. But who said fasting is the same? وَفِيهِ أَنَّ لِلْمِثَالِ الْمَذْكُورِ خُصُوصِيَّةً لَأَنَّ الْمُنَاصِبْ لِجَرَاحَةِ الْمِعِدَةِ If someone had injury in Ma'idah and did Amaliyya Jarahi operation أَدَمُ دُخُولِ شَيْءٍ إِلَيْهَا مُطْلَقَا Nothing should reach and enter a stomach وَلَوْ لَمْ يَكُنْ مُعْتَادًا Even if it is not مُعْتَاد Something that is normally used as food بِخِلَافِ الْمَقَامِ Unlike our case, our situation but fasting. فَإِنَّهُ لَا جَزْمَ بِكَوْنِ الْمُنَاسِبِ لِلصَّوْمِ أَدَمُ دُخُولِ شَيْءٍ إِلَى الْمَعِدَةِ مُطْلَقَةِ There is no certainty that what soom, you know, requires and what is suitable and matches soom is nothing to reach our throat, for example, or stomach. Ma'ida is a stomach. وَلَعَلَّ النُّكْتَةَ الَّتِي شُرَّعَ مِنْ أَجْلَهَا تَخْتَسُ بِخُصُوصِ الْمُنَاسِبِ Maybe the reason for which fasting was legislated is about mu'tad. Something that you enjoy, you are used to eating and drinking. خب What is نتيجة? What is conclusion so far? أن الفتوى بالتعميم أمر مشكل. He says to make this verdict to issue fatwa that معتاد and غير المعتاد both are to be avoided for eating and drinking is difficult. We cannot give fatwa, but we say. We should do ihtiyat. وَإِنْ كَانَ الْإِحْتِيَاتُ أَمْرًا مُنَاسِبًا Although ihtiyat is munasib to avoid غير المعتاد. And later also he says this because uh, when so many fuqaha have you know, said this, so we need to do ihtiyat. Later he, uh, again after a few pages, he says, Al-Khulasa, this is page 332 at the end of discussion, he says Al-Khulasa, anna ta'meem al-muftariyyat al-ghayr al-mu'tad mushkilun to say that uh, prohibition includes what is not customary is difficult because we don't have complete argument وَلَكَنْ يَبْقَى الْإِحْتِيَاطِ 
تحفظا من مخالفت المشهور امرا لازما but in order to avoid opposition to opinion of مشهور احتیاط is واجب this is so now you can see why sometimes فقها have fatwa why sometimes they have احتیاط واجب so he doesn't have complete argument to make fatwa, but he is not feeling that we can still ignore mashhur because so many fuqaha have said this. So you wonder maybe you are missing something. Okay, so one natija an al fatwa bit ta'amim amrun mushkil. و این کانال احتیاط امران مناسب احتیاط از مناسب از سوتبل but after completing the discussion it's لازم he said no احتیاط از this مناسب means it's لازم it's necessary خب هذا کله من حیث المقتضی so far we only talked about مقتضی and we said this is not complete و قد تضح عدم و تمامیته now Let's discuss Fiqdanul Mane because we said we need Muqtazi to be there and Mane to not to be there. Inshallah, in the next session we will talk about Mane. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Do you have any questions? Was discussion clear? Yes, thank you very much. Alhamdulillah. I hope you have Mubahasa as well. It's very good to do Mubahasa and uh, helps you with better understanding and better memorizing, inshallah. Sorry, if, yes. I don't see if I can ask just a quick question. Sure. Is there anyone who is there anyone who approaches it by looking at the wisdom or uh, the rationale behind fasting, like let's say building determination or uh, you know willpower or feeling empathetic with with the poor, and then work their way backwards in the sense that okay, um, would I fulfill that shadow by avoiding soil or sand or something like that? Is there any approach in, in that sense of reverse engineering from the rationale or the wisdom behind fasting? You know, those things are not enough uh, as reasons. They are, you know, we call them falsafiyya tashriya. They are not illa in fiqhi sense. If you knew illa of hok, then we say al illa tu muammimatun aw mukhassasa illa tu al hok. But we don't know illa of hok. This is just philosophy behind it. It's general. We cannot. Uh, use that as a measure for every detail. Plus, someone may say uh, what is to be avoided is food. But if, for example, once, for example, in my mouth there is, you know, dust and goes in, it doesn't conflict with determination, etc. Yeah? So it, first, we don't use that argument, but even if someone wants to use it, it's questionable. It's not very clear. Yes, that, that makes sense. Thank you. You're welcome. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Iltimaas <laughs> adwa. Khuda hafiz. Thank you very much. Khuda hafiz. Khuda hafiz. Fiyaman Allah wa hafiz. Fiyaman Allah wa hafiz.